ready. This is probably the part in the ceremony where I will do it. Excuse my mascara. And Xavier, now is the time that you will share your vows with your beautiful bride. I hope this goes better than my proposal. <laughs> Missouri. Hi. In vain I have struggled. My feelings will not be repressed. I mu you must allow me to tell you how ardently I admire and love you. You are the soundtrack to my life and my reason to exist. From this day forth, my chief occupation, despite all appearances, will be to always love you. And from this day forth, my purpose in life will be to create a perfect love with you. Love is the ultimate outlaw. <laughs> and from this day forth, you are my partner in crime to whom I swear to aid and abet. <laughs> my love is free. <laughs> I ask nothing in return. I bought the ticket, let's take the ride. <laughs> shark, 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 shark. Where my shark's at? Now is the time where Zuri will share her vows with her soon to be hubby. All right, so Xavier stole my thunder a little bit. <laughs> Love is the ultimate outlaw. It just won't adhere to any rules. The most any of us can do is to sign on as its accomplice. Instead of vowing to honor and obey, we should swear to aid and abet. The words make and stay become inappropriate. My love for you has no strings attached. I love you for free. I love waking up with you in the morning and falling asleep with you at night and all that happens in between even if I will always ask for five more minutes. I love that in ways big and small, my life is more adventurous and full and rich and wonderful and weird and hilarious because you are in it. I'm constantly amazed by the way you embrace life and make time for the things and people that you enjoy most. Whether it's getting up in the middle of the night to ride your bike across town before the sun comes up or spending hours in the shop building the perfect bike for the lady you love. The way that you treat all the people in this world, from the love that you have for your family to the respect and kindness you show to everyone else, even those less fortunate than you, makes me so proud to have you as my partner. You make me feel loved, and the decision to trust you with the rest of my life is such an easy one. I know that I am and will be a better person because of you, as I strive to be worthy of your love. Today, I make you my family, loving what I know of you and trusting what I don't. I will turn to you in every struggle, in every joy. I will build a life that makes you proud, and I will honor your dreams wherever they may take us. I will share my misadventures with you, and I will make my home wherever you are. I promise to share, cherish and delight in your spirit and individuality and to face life's challenges with patience and humor, <laughs> and to nurture our growth. Whatever is placed before us, I will be right here by your side for the rest of my days. I promise to delight in the laughter, take serious the important, and imagine the profound. I choo choo choose you as my lover, <laughs> friend, and partner for all that life may bring us. So I asked the two of them not, not to share their vows with each other before this evening. And so they both sent them to me and I realized that they both had used the same quote. So I did something kind of funny this morning and I posted that quote that that comes from on Instagram and I tagged both of them. And I think they both thought that I was sharing part of their vows with each other. Um, and really, they had both written it about each other and, and used the, the quote that love is the ultimate outlaw. So it's another example of how connected they are. 
Um, if the rings have not made it all the way around, if we could figure out how to, to get them up here to the front, hopefully they are all um, blessed and ready to go. So traditionally, the passage to the status of husband and wife is marked by the exchange of rings. And I thought it was important to share a little bit of story about these rings since they're non-traditional and have a story behind them. And so I asked, I asked them both different questions, and in this case, because it's usually the, the groom that picks the ring, I asked for, for Zabe to tell me a little bit about the, the rings and the story of that. So I thought his explanation was actually good enough that it was worth reading verbatim what he said. <laughs> I had told my father that I wanted to marry Zuri, but all the notions of rings and proposals and how do I go about this, it was stressing me out. How do people do this? <laughs> the next time I saw him, he gave me his ring. This was a ring that I always remembered growing up. In his younger days, he worked in jewelry store. That's how he met my mother at a mall once upon a time. <laughs> He told me that the ring was from a different time in his life, that he hadn't worn it in a really long time, and to put it to good use. That set things into motion. So on to Zuri's, Zuri's ring. After many frustrating, I have no idea what I'm doing, trips to downtown LA, Deb introduced me to her neighbor, Larry. He has a little vintage boutique in West Hollywood. Zuri's great-grandfather and grandmother were jewelries, and I knew that Zuri's grandmother had her engagement wedding and then wedding rings for her. I find that the ring that resonated, that he found resonated with him most and reminded him of Zuri. And now the really funny part. At one point, they told um, Zave that he should go in and look at Tiffany's to try on rings. And anybody that knows Zave knows that he wouldn't go into Tiffany's to try on rings and that wouldn't be, be his style. So he said, jewelry has never been my thing. I've never woken up in my life and said, where's my ring? I never wore a ring, seriously. I had no clue. What? Colors, metals, patterns, round, flat, blah, blah, help! <laughs> We like to go shopping at the Pasadena flea market. Lots of stories, and you never know what you might find. And if you do find what you're looking for, you better commit, because it probably won't be there when you come back. If you can even find the darn booth again. <laughs> so he found his ring from a nice hippie lady, primarily sending Indian jewelry, a little worn with the story, and the, the pattern on it reminded them of Mayan and Aztec art. So those are where the, the rings have come from tonight. These rings to them are a symbol of an unbroken circle of love. Love freely given has no beginning and it has no end. No giver and no receiver. For each is the giver and the receiver. May these rings always remind you of the vows you have taken. And I have rings. Please place the ring on Zuri's finger and repeat after me. <laughs> With these rings, I give you the promise that from this day forward, you shall never walk alone. My heart will be your shelter. My arms will be your home. We will walk together through life as partners and best friends. I promise I will do my best to love and accept you exactly as you are. I promise I will do my best to learn to accept you. Love and accept you. Love and accept you. <laughs> love and accept you. With this ring, I give you your freedom and my trust in you. With this ring, I give you my freedom and trust in you. I give you my heart. I give you my heart. I have no greater gift to give.
have no greater gift to give. With this ring, I give you the promise that from this day forward, you shall never walk alone. My heart will be your shelter. My arms will be your home. We will walk together through life as partners and best friends. I promise I will do my best to love and accept you exactly as you are. With this ring, I give you your freedom and my trust in you. I give you my heart. I have no greater, greater gift to give. And now we'll do a group blessing family and friends. The gift of your relationship adds so deeply to Xavier's and Zuri's lives and holds such importance in their everyday living. Without these bonds, we would not have the pleasure of laughter, song, and dance, and have the stories to tell. These two radiant souls have gifted you with their love and light. And now I ask that as your wedding gift to them, you act as guardians and protectors of their partnership in marriage. Remember to keep an eye open, an ear to listen, and a hand ready to give your added strength and assistance to the new, this newly married couple as they begin their journey together. Now is one of the parts where we will ask your participation. If you, would, if you don't want to, that's okay too. But I invite you to send all of your love to Xavier and Zuri as I ask you the following questions for each one you agree with. Please say as loud as you can, I will. Will you remember to celebrate with them, laugh with them, and have some fun tonight? I will! Will you remember to write them, make a phone call, pay a visit, send an email to them? I will! Will you keep them close in your thoughts and in your actions? I will! Will you offer their marriage your support as loving family and friends? I will! Will you continue to hold space for the vows that they took tonight? I will! And will you welcome them into their new world with open hearts and generous spirits? Oh, hell yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Está bien! <laughs> thank you, thank you. I'm going to ask everyone to turn within in this moment as we do a special blessing for those of you that want to put your hands towards them or whatever is most comfortable, if we could all just close our eyes in this moment. It is into this beautiful, loving space that we send our blessing upon this beautiful union tonight. This loving, caring, giving relationship that the two of you have pledged yourself. And it is upon your marriage, your vows, your relationship that we bless this as you begin the journey down the river of life together. We don't know what lies ahead where the river turns and bends, but help them to make best or whatever of whatever comes their way. Help them to hug each other often, laugh a lot, talk more, argue less. Help them to respect each other's likes and dislikes, opinions and beliefs, hopes and dreams, and fears, even though they might not always understand them. Help them to learn from each other and to grow mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. Help them to realize that it is their design and purpose in their life, and no matter what happens, they will hold on to each other and know that things have a way of working out for the good. Help them to create for their children a peaceful, stable home of love as a foundation from which they can build their lives. But most of all, help them to keep lit the torch of love that they now share in their hearts so that they are a loving example that they may pass on the gift of love to their children and their children's children forever. Gratefully, we allow this blessing to be by saying, and so it is, amen. I know that for some of you, this is going to feel a little bit um, out of out of order, and maybe these are parts of the ceremony that you haven't haven't done before. 
but this is where a lot of really exciting things get to happen in a very short period of time. So I'm going to go over that and give you a little bit of preview of what happens. Um, believe it or not, we're about 90% away um, from, we're 90% done with the ceremony. So we will have the only part that has to happen, which is of course the legal pronouncement of husband and wife. And then we will have a beautiful kiss of the bride and groom. And then we will have a breaking of the glass. And I'll go over a little bit of what that means um, for those of you that have don't, don't know what that means. But for now, the pronouncement of husband and wife, which is one of the most fun times of the ceremony. Zuri, Eliza, Majors, and Arthur, Xavier, Ramirez, you have consented together to join one another in lawful marriage. You have made special promises to each other, which have been symbolized by the joining of hands, the taking of vows, and by the giving and receiving of the rings. By the authority vested in me in the state of California, Xavier and Zuri, I now pronounce that you are indeed husband and wife. You have kissed a thousand times, maybe more, but today the feeling is new. No longer simply partners and best friends, you have become husband and wife and can now seal the agreement with a kiss today. Today your kiss is a promise. Xavier, you may now kiss your beautiful bride. You can do it! <laughs> the breaking of the glass is a tradition that happens at the end of all um, Jewish wedding ceremonies. The glass symbolizes the clarity of their love for each other, the shattering of their old separate lives together as they begin a life together anew. As you break the glass, all of our blessings are bestowed upon them. We are so grateful that all of you have come to participate in this beautiful ceremony tonight. Your presence is truly appreciated by both Xavier and Zuri. And now is the time where we get to break the glass. Yeah, I'm